Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to get started with QuickBooks Online. First of all, I'm gonna go in the description below. I'm gonna grab this URL you see up here. I'm gonna paste it in there so you can go into this landing page. And you can actually click on any of these two links, QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Online Advanced. You can click on any of these two links and you will immediately open up a sample file. A sample file basically somewhere you can just play with QuickBooks. You don't even need to log in or create an account. It's just for you to play with it. Like you won't save anything. When you log out, you log back in into a sample file with the exact same data. So uh, it's just for you to play with it. So let's go through some of the basic components. So first of all, create button. Probably the thing that you're gonna press the most. That's for you to create an invoice, an expense, a bill, create projects to your payroll, journal entries, etc. Anything that's a new transaction is gonna be here in the Create button. Another place you're gonna spend a lot of time in is gonna be in the Reports. So when you click on Reports, you're gonna have all sorts of options for reports. There's custom reports, standard reports, KPIs, management reports, all sorts of things. But the most common place you're gonna find yourself in is pulling up, for example, a profit and loss report or a balance sheet report, right? So that's those are your basic financial reports. So you wanna know exactly how your business is doing. Let's say, for example, we do all dates here or last year, this year, you select your date range, you'll be able to know exactly what your revenue is, uh, your direct costs, your expenses, and finally your net income, which is, you know, as a business owner, what you're gonna be paying taxes on, right? Um, so that's another place you're gonna be spending a lot of time in on the reports. Now, other place you're gonna spend a lot of time in is here it says all apps. You're gonna click on all apps, and then what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see all these different options. So pretty much any general area inside QuickBooks uh, for you to sort of deep dive into customers, vendors, uh, payroll, timesheets, all that, you're gonna be able to find it all through here. So for example, I wanna see all my invoices. I click here on invoices, and it'll give me a list of all the invoices that I have. I can either show the invoices that are paid only, and I can see only paid invoices, or the ones that are unpaid, and pretty much you can get, you get to do all the filters. You can click on any of them and actually look at the status of that invoice. You can edit the invoice itself, you know, change any parameters, the customer, the items you're selling, the amounts, the total, all that stuff would be something that you completely uh, manipulate. So that's pretty much the general sense of it. Like I'm definitely gonna have a lot more videos. I walk you through every one of these things step by step. So obviously don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and check out the, all, all the videos I'll be creating, but for those that, uh, that, that already went to the sample file and played around and now they wanna create the file, let me walk you through that process. So I'm actually gonna, gonna copy and paste this URL in the description as well so you can go straight to this URL. What this URL will allow you to do is allow you to create a 30-day free trial, no credit card required. And on top of that, if you decide to keep the QuickBooks, you get 30% off for 12 months. This special link, it's only available uh, to resellers like me. So definitely if you watch this video at this point, use this link to set up your own account. So you're gonna read through the um, features that each version has and you're gonna pick whether you're gonna be on Simple Start, Essentials, Plus or Advanced. You pick whatever edition fits best your business. Good news, is you can downgrade and upgrade anytime. So no big deal. There's like you know no wrong decision to make or anything like that. So you click on try it for free. Then you're gonna enter your email address. If you already have an account with Intuit, whether it was a QuickBooks account, MailChimp, TurboTax, or any of the Intuit products, you're gonna get this error saying, you cannot create an account with this email. You got two choices. Either use a different email or an email that QuickBooks doesn't have, so you wanna kinda of create a fresh account, or simply just recover your account. Now that doesn't mean you have an active subscription to a QuickBooks Online company file, it just means you have an access to the Intuit ecosystem. So if you do have an email that you enter here and you get this error talking about recovering the account, go through the recovery process if you can't remember your password. Otherwise, just enter your email, your password, a phone number you can get text messages in, and then click on one more step and you should be able to create the brand new free account from there. Now you will notice that it won't ask you for a credit card or anything like that, this account is free for 30 days and you have to make sure you log in before the 30 days are up and put your credit card in to subscribe if you're gonna continue using it for your business. And you're gonna answer all the questions. You skip clicking skip and skip and skip as much as possible because these questions just take way too long and they make you waste too much time. 
So try to go to the path where you can quickly go to the beginning of the page so I can talk to you about you know, changing all these settings in the future. Again, I hit no or skip uh, any option that it gives me, otherwise answer the actual questions or skip through because you could always change any of these settings afterwards. So once you log in, you can click on the little gear menu on the top right of the screen, and you can go to subscriptions and billing, and you will know exactly what you have set up. So right now we have a 30 day trial that ends on whatever day, right? That'll be 30 days after you sign up. He tells you here what the discount will be and whatever the discount is based on how you set up the account. And then here you can cancel your trial or downgrade or upgrade anytime, and you should be good to go. Now, usually this homepage is going to be the first thing that you're going to see. And if you want to change any of your settings, you just go into the, the little gear menu again, but then you're going to click on account and settings. And in here, you're probably going to spend a good 20 minutes just kind of going through all the different options. You just click on each one of these and just read through everything that's here, all the options that they're here, which will give you really good context in all the things that you can turn off and on in your QuickBooks. So it also gives you a great context in terms of what the features or the potential features that it has. And then, you know, based on your business, as you go through all these things, you will pretty much, you will know, or at least you hopefully will remember okay, I remember QuickBooks having something to do with this, and I know exactly where I need to go back and change those settings. Now, one more thing I'll add is one thing that's a great companion to your QuickBooks Online is a little app called Write Tool. Actually, I co-developed this app, so I'm very proud of it. And there's a free version and there's a paid version. Of course, I'm going to recommend that you try the free version first, but as soon as you get into the QuickBooks world, get into right tool because your productivity will be double or triple and you can see the reviews and kind of see what people are saying about right tool. So I'll go ahead and put that same link in the description below so you can go straight into this page and you can see it's a five star rated, 140 ratings. You can click on that and kind of read what people think about this app. It's absolutely incredible. And I'm just going to click on remove from Chrome really quick so you can see something. When you first log in to this page and you are using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge or Brave, it needs to be a Chromium based browser. It doesn't work on Safari. It doesn't work on Firefox for the time being. It needs to be a Chrome based browser. So anyway, you're going to um, click on add to Chrome. And then the minute you click on add to Chrome, that will be activated and you will see that uh, right toolbar be right there on the side. So it's a great companion to have. And, uh, and that's it. So anyway, Subscribe to the channel, check the links uh, in the description, and you will know exactly all the things that we have, um, all the videos that, that, uh, that have to do with QuickBooks and how to use QuickBooks. And this, of course, is a great start. Thank you. See you in the next one.